Good morning, welcome to my vlog. So today I have a few cool things happening so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. I am starting off with brunch hosted by MUA. You've seen them in Superdrug, they have an exciting Veganuary announcement so I cannot wait to see what they've got to say. They've always been cruelty free but they've never had a vegan list as far as I'm aware. It'll be a whole new brand to me and I'm really excited to see what's going on there. Plus the breakfast event is in California Kitchen with a K. So so very millennial from what I've seen it's a very like insta worthy cafe restaurant and I often find with these places that it's not always really worth your money to get the food there you're just kind of paying for the aesthetic and the insta pick so I'll let you know if the food's good um, after that I think I'm gonna head to Lush Oxford Circus and actually find and check out the makeup range and it's also Tom's birthday so I need to get him a cupcake he's doing Veganuary this month so I'm gonna try and find him a nice cupcake and get myself one as well obviously should be a good day bloody freezing okay let's go So that was really, really good. It turns out that MUA are already 80% vegan and by the end of the year, they aim to have the whole range 100% vegan. I actually got a little goodie bag to play about with and the food was really nice as well. I definitely recommend California Kitchen. It was all complimentary, so I can't tell you whether or not it's worth the prices because I didn't pay for anything, which was really nice and really grateful for. I've never used their makeup before, so it was really interesting to actually have a play about it and learn a lot about them they're really affordable everything in their range is 10 pounds or under most of it under so if you're looking for affordable vegan beauty then check out MUA sadly nothing is labeled on the product but if you go online they have a vegan section so it's clear online so I'm just going to pop into the hummingbird bakery and hopefully find a nice um, little cupcake for Tom for his birthday chocolate um, I think he's gonna love it so I'm actually going to pop into Lush now video with going through my MUA goodie bag. I already know there are lipsticks in there so I've just taken off my lipstick so I can try these ones out. As I said I've never tried their products before and they're all actually meant to be really affordable so I'll try and add the prices and names of the products down here. So in this goodie bag I've got two of the Super Stylo Satin Finish lipsticks. From what I understand all of their other lipstick ranges that they've had before have had beeswax in them and all of the products they're going to be releasing evermore are going to be vegan which is incredible so this is their new lip range which is vegan here I've got the super stylo satin lipstick in the shade heroic so this I would say is a bit more nude than I would typically go for I'm not all that keen on it it feels really nice and soft on the lips good coverage as well I, I can't tell you how long it lasts or anything but 
first impressions are pretty good. I also got it in the shade First Class. Let's just switch this up. Fresh lips. See this. Um, I wouldn't say I've got much control whilst painting that. I don't think I did a very good job. So I'm going to go back in and kind of smudge that around. Nothing with me is ever very precise. I am one of those a bit more smudgy, <laughs> half brush sort of girls. Yeah, I quite like this colour. I think it's quite cute. Very moisturising. Well, I spilt it down myself. Wow, that's embarrassing, eh? Outfit change. What else have I got in here? So they gave me, a, they've given me a, like a little makeup pouch, which is, I mean, maybe I'll use it as a sandwich bag. I don't know. So these were kind of like the feature products of today, it seems. So there are four of them. Black is the softening facial oil stick. It's a nice hydrating sort of product. I just think these sort of products are so good when you go traveling because you're not faffing about with oils or anything that can leak over everything. I've got a smooth set and prime blur stick. So this one fills fine lines, minimizes the appearance of pores for a super smooth soft base. So I'm going to try this as a primer. I'm actually quite interested to see how this goes. Then I've got a soothe and cool primer stick. So I used the spray of this whilst we were at the event and it was just kind of minty and refreshing. Here's another hydrating one and it leaves a cooling sensation. Oh, a makeup remover. So I actually had one of these sort of products from e.l.f. and I used it all up and I really loved it. The idea is that you can just rub it on your face at the end of the day and it takes off all your makeup so then you go back over with a cloth. It's another product that really does help combat the whole face wipe issue. And just a few more products here. I have a pro slash base banana blur primer. I really am not a fan of banana based beauty products. I love bananas but just in a beauty product it, it doesn't feel that right. I'll give it a sniff. Oh my gosh a lot came out. I don't know why I didn't show you guys. But I tried to do a little splodge and it was quite a big one. Bigger splodge than I thought. Not enough control over that. It smells sweet. I wouldn't necessarily say it smells like a banana. I don't think I'm going to go along with that product but I'll give it a, I'll give it a proper go. Oh this I'm really excited about. It was at the table when we were having our breakfast and it's a primer oil. So this one's for if you want a dewy sort of finish. So the banana one's good if you like your skin all nice and matte and this one is good if you like your skin nice and dewy. Can you see all these little gold flakes? I just want to know if it adds a bit of glitter. Yeah, you just end up with a couple of sprinkles of gold on your skin. It doesn't feel very oily. It just, it just feels quite hydrating. Last up, we have this beautiful palette. I hope you can see these shades quite well. They're very shimmery. It's a shame because there are nine shades in here. I feel like they didn't all have to be shimmery and then it could have been a bit more of a multi-use, multi-purpose product. I'd use these on my eyes. I'd use them as a highlighter. That's probably about it. Three different shades there. Actually, let's give myself a little dusting. Got my little Lottie London brush here. Do we notice the difference? Yeah? I do already have highlighter on, to be fair. Yeah, I'm, really, I'm quite happy with that palette. So all in all, first impressions. I quite like them. I think my favourites so far are going to be the palette, the primer, and probably this red lipstick. I'm actually really enjoying this. Thank you guys so much for enjoying me in my morning. I hope you've also discovered a bit more about MUA. And I'm looking forward to seeing even more vegan releases coming from them going forward. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye!